Willie Soon is an astrophysicist, a geoscientist, an aerospace engineer, and researcher at the Solar and Stellar Physics Division of the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, based in Cambridge, Massachusetts. He has co authored The Maunder Minimum and The Variable Sun Earth Connection with Stephen Yaskell. He contends that most global warming is caused by solar variation and not human activity. Professor Soon is outspoken and clear. We're going to have some fun and we're going to have some really strong points raised, I'm sure of that. Uh, yes, I, I have read your report and in it, I think you mentioned something that really puzzles me, of course, in the sense that when you look for, you ask for evidence, they actually were trying to essentially, I would say, I would say it out loud and be fair, they were actually trying to bully you by, let's say, offering the evidence from a paper published in Science Magazine, supposedly prestigious uh, journal, and authored by a person named Sean Marcotte with four or five authors. I mean, the senior authors are distinguished professor, of course, at Oregon State University in America. But Sean Marcotte, well, during that time, was actually doing his PhD thesis. And I was very, very shocked in the sense that you were talking to them during the time period of 2016 to 2017. And this paper by Sean Marcotte was published in 2013, roughly March. And if the average uh, citizen do not know about some of these facts, I think they can be excused. But most of the professional scientists knew that this piece of work who attempted to claim that over 10,000 years, okay, you have basically temperature from high warming from 10,000 years ago to roughly about 6,000 years, very, very warm. These are called the mid-Holocene warm optimum. And then cool a little bit down to, let's say, 20th century. And then they have this one line that they patch what you call the indirect data with the instrumental thermometer data to look like there's a sharp hockey stick jumping up. Okay, and that is scientific malpractice. There was no such thing in the actual paper. There was no such thing in Sean Marcotte's uh, PhD thesis. In fact, the paper was completely fallen apart thanks to science and technology, thanks to internet. It was completely fallen apart two weeks after the publication <laughs> because the authors, two of the senior authors, okay, right, uh, one of the person is Shakun, Jeremy Shakun was uh, at uh, Harvard postdoc at that time and then Marcotte was still a student. They both came out and said, that, oh, no, 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 our paper didn't say that. Oh, our, our, our time resolution of our Holocene data was 300 years at best, which means we don't know anything from you know, to every 300 years. So how can you talk about 100 years attaching to this to show that it's crazy warming? What I'm trying to say is that it is a form of bully because two weeks after publication, this whole paper was completely destroyed. And yet you have somebody as high as Cyro and chief scientist of Australia trying to say that this paper is legitimate and, and, and can be used as a, as a supporting scientific evidence. By the way, that paper was cited. They came out in March. They were somehow mentioned in the fifth assessment report, From the which United came out in... Yeah, United Nations report, the last report, which, you know, and, 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 and use that to support the, the, that an even more famous hockey stick, which is done by Professor Michael Mann for the last thousand years. And this is the kind of uh, scientific malpractice that I felt very sorry for them because I do not know what gave them the audacity, but these are the facts. And then I felt very sorry for the average Australian, uh, especially the taxpayer. Why are you paying for this kind of nonsense? It's actually nonsense. And these people, just because they have some PhD degree under their name, it doesn't mean that they're very sensible. In my humble opinion, these people are highly misguided and they are very, very wrong in doing that. They should not ought to be do that. And, and I really thank you enormously because I have met many politicians myself. I mean, most of them do not have that courage or conviction. In fact, I think they are a bit lazy because they don't want to learn science. Science a bit, seems to be a bit too hard sometimes. People are all scared of science. But for us, science is a wonderful tool. It's one of those tools to enhance and improve our knowledge. 
you know, to find that kind of understanding about, about our natural world and our human world, it's a wonderful thing. 